Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you um, a resolution to a problem which I've had a lot of, of my subscribers actually complain about and that is the YouTube channel uh, pairing on the Roku. Okay, as, as, as you can see here I've, I made a, uh, a video on YouTube on the, on the YouTube channel on the Roku and at a certain point in the, in the video I show you that you can pair your devices to your Roku so that you can stream YouTube videos from your you know smartphone or from your tablet or from your desktop or, or laptop uh, I've had a few uh, subscribers say to me hey every time I shut down the browser or reboot my machine I have to repair it and it's a real pain okay well I believe the issue mainly happens in, in uh, Firefox but I may be wrong it could happen in Internet Explorer and Chrome as well if you're experiencing there those issues there then I'll show you, I'll, I'll tell you how to fix that at the end of this video but Regardless, here's the issue. First of all, let's. I'm just going to replicate it for you. So we go to YouTube and pair as it says on the screen there. And here you see new TV. It says enter pairing code. So I'll do that. Okay, so we're going to enter the pairing code and have it right here. And uh, the pairing code is given to you by the. Roku as you saw on the previous screen and uh, it is a series of four of three digit numbers there we go add this TV okay and now it says you know um, basically at this point you can just try one of your one of your uh, list to play it so on and so forth we're not going to do that we're just going to hit done here and then I'm going to go to um, let's go back to my previous uh, video Okay, so now we're here we are back to my original uh, video and as you can see over here I have a new icon on the bottom uh, right hand corner of my YouTube window and if you click it you'll see you have a choice uh, you can play it on this computer or you can play it on YouTube TV which is what I called the other uh, the pairing when I made it so I'm going to just choose this one and show you how that functions now it'll play here and you know basically pretty easy just choose that and as long as you see this down here, this icon at the bottom right hand corner, you know you're paired, you know you're ready to go. So here's the problem. When I shut the browser down, it, it, my pairing is going to be uh, erased. So let me show you that. So And this is primarily happening in Firefox. I don't experience this in, Google, in Chrome or IE, but uh, that doesn't mean it, doesn't, it can't happen. But I do have a solution for Firefox, uh, and I also have the same solution for Chrome and IE if it happens there. So, let's go back to YouTube. Okay, there's mine, so I'm just going to go to that one. And, okay, so here we're back in. And you'll notice that I'm now missing that little icon, that the mirroring icon, or the uh, pairing icon. It's missing now. And I notice that this is a, a common issue with Firefox primarily, okay? So, uh, at, at this point... What we're going to do, I'm just going to skip this ad here. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's pretty simple. Uh, what it is, is that when you pair your Roku to your uh, desktop or your smartphone or your whatever, um, it's pairing to your browser, really. So if you have three separate browsers in, inside your computer, you're going to have to pair it to every single one of them, right? Like if you have Chrome, IE, and uh, Firefox, like I do, you have to pair it for every one. Fortunately, I don't think there's any limit to how many things you can pair to a Roku, so it's pretty cool that way. Let's go here to the, up here in the, on the top right corner, you'll see the menu button for Firefox. We'll go there. And down here, you see a little question mark. That's the help menu, so we're going to go there. All right. And in here, you'll see the troubleshooting information. Let's, let's, uh, let's go there. And I'll, actually... I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself here. Let me go back for a second. Let's go to options, and I'll show you what actually causes the problem. What causes the problem is my history set to use custom settings for history. Okay, and that gives you these options down here. And I chose to keep all third-party cookie cookies until I close Firefox. Well, YouTube uses cookies to pair your browser to the Roku. So when you when I erase the cookies, I also erase the pairing, right? So you can just change that back to you know uh, till they expire or whatever but I find that the easiest way to fix all these issues is just go to back back to this menu at the top right hand corner 
go to the help button then choose uh, uh, troubleshooting information over here and it'll give you a different uh, bar, uh, window or tab and then click just reset Firefox that'll set your Firefox settings back to the uh, default settings and at that point your pairing issue will be fixed and I'll show you that next so I'm gonna just hit reset and it says you know read the disclaimer here and it says are you sure you want to blah 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 and you know do read that because it's gonna you know uh, it says it will try to preserve your Windows tabs and browsing history and bookmarks. So I'm going to hit the reset here. Uh, it, you know, as it try doesn't mean it will, right? It may erase those as well. Just reset. All right, and it shuts down the browser. At this point, it does its little jig here. If it's done uh, fixing up the. Uh, it does actually save your old Firefox data on your desktop too, which is kind of cool. Not sure what you can use that for, but at least it does do a backup of the original state. And Firefox comes back up again. Now at this point, uh, I'm just going to sit hit restore on these uh, windows and tabs, as I do want to go back to where I was. Okay, so we're back to this. I'm going to shut that one off. And YouTube. I'm going to have to pair my device one more time. Uh, but this time it will actually keep the settings. So we're going to go to YouTube uh, forward slash, sorry, YouTube.com or www.youtube.com. Pair. There we go. Pair. It's a little busy right at the moment. Skip the ad. There we go. So now I'm going to enter the new uh, pairing code and we'll continue from there. And I'll show you how the, that resetting of the Firefox browser fixed that issue. Okay, we're back to the pairing screen here just to show you that this, this repair actually worked. Um, get my computer to respond to me. 825. Okay. Uh, 825. Just got to put a new code. Now you can see how this would be a real uh, pain and you'd never want to keep doing it more over and over and over again. It's like, really? I got to go back to the Roku and put a new code every time I want to do this? Okay, so um, you can rename your TV here to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave the defaults. Get done. And now I'm going to go back to my video. Any one of them will do. Um, the spell. See if mine shows up yeah, right off the bat. There we go. And we'll go to it. And like I said, this is a great feature of, the, of this device. So I just saw it at the bottom right there. And it's showing you this play now uh, or not. So you know it's paired at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shut off this browser and open it up again and show you that it's still paired. So I'm just going to keep this address here. Just There we go. So I'll close off Firefox, open it up again. <clears throat> and plug that URL into the address bar. My computer wakes up a little bit. All right, we're back to it. And again, you see right at the bottom right-hand corner, it's still here. So you have the option, play on TV or this computer. So nice option, nice features. Um, you know, that's how you fix the pairing problem with the Roku. It's actually a browser setting issue. Once you fix those browser settings, you're done. All right. That's it for this problem. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd 
channel or your Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.